plus three, which gives us this plus three hanging out here, which gives us a uh, two cubed times a zero plus two squared, two times two gives us two squared times three plus two times three gives us two times three plus plus three. Okay. Uh, and we can continue in this fashion. Let's just do one more. We have a to the four is two times the previous one, which is two cubed a zero plus two squared times three plus two times three plus three plus three, which gives us a value of uh, two to the four a zero plus two cubed times three plus two squared times three plus two times three plus three. And we can continue out to the nth term. A n is equal to, oh look, it must be two times. You can see the power here is three uh, for the fourth for the fourth index. The power here is two for the third index. The power here is one for the second index. So effectively, this is going to be two to the power of n minus one, a zero plus two to the power of n minus two, okay, times three plus. Okay, continuing all the way down, plus it's going to be two times two to the power of, okay, it's going to be two times three, okay, plus three. Okay, and then we have to add on a three, which gives us effectively, okay, when we multiply this out, two times two to the n minus one is two to the n a zero, plus two times this here gives us uh, two to the power of n minus one plus the power of one gives us two to the, two to the n minus one times three plus two to the n minus two times three, plus all the way down to when we multiply by this by two, we get uh, two squared times three, plus two times three, plus three hanging out there. Okay? And hopefully what we can see, see this is a very, very complex, not that it's complicated, there's a lot of work involved in you in iterating these types of, these types of uh, recurrences. Okay? But hopefully what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this up into two components, this component here and this component here. Uh, so the first component is simply two to the power of n times a zero plus this component here. You can see each term has a tree in it. So let's take the tree out. So it's three times. Okay. Uh, and what's left behind here is two to the n minus one plus two to the n minus two plus all the way down to uh, two squared plus two plus one. Okay. Which is effectively a geometric sequence. Yeah. Okay. So let's consider this. Let's consider consider this a little bit more. Uh, so we're just gonna consider that summation. So we have S of N is equal to two to the N minus one plus two to the N minus two plus all the way down to two squared plus two plus one. And let's multiply this by two. So we're gonna calculate two times S of N, okay? Well, two times this, two times two to the N minus one becomes two to the N plus two times two to the N minus two becomes two to the N minus one plus the one before it becomes n minus two, all the way down. Uh, this two to the two is gonna become two cubed because we multiply it by two, this becomes two squared, plus this becomes two. And if we take these away from each other, so if we subtract, we just get a different color here. So this becomes negative, 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 all the way down. Hopefully we can see what happens is that this term cancels with this, this cancels with the one prior to it. And just the way I've shifted this across, uh, this term cancels with this, this with this, and this with this. And what we're left with is when we sum these together, we have S of N minus two S of N must be equal to the one here minus two to the N. And that's S of N times one minus two must be equal to one minus two to the N. And therefore we have S of N is equal to one minus two to the N over one minus two. So our solution now, our solution okay, uh, becomes uh, A of N is equal to the first term that we had was two to the n a zero, okay? Plus, at this time, it's three times, it's three times one minus two to the n over one minus two, which is effectively what we had a moment ago when we went back and when we looked at our particular, when we looked at our general solution. Where's that gone to? There it is there, okay? It's effectively what we had uh, when we looked at it here. Three times one minus two to the n time all over one minus two. Uh, but I suppose we really need to plug in a zero here and we know that a zero is equal to five. So this becomes a n is equal to five times, oh, this becomes 
a n is equal to five times two to the n plus three times one minus two to the n over one minus two. And we know that when we simplify that, <coughs> we end up with a n is equal to, when we do our simplification, we end up with a n is equal to two to the n plus three minus three, okay? Uh, so you can do iteration, but you're better off, if when, we, when we develop the general form of uh, the general solution, okay? uh, the general solution itself allows us to solve these particular types of recurrences, okay? allows us to solve them. So here's our general solution. Okay? allows us just to plug the value straight into the formula because the iteration has been developed and, in, in, let's say, encoded in here. Because in our previous video, we used iteration to figure this out. Okay. So the iterative method is already encoded in here. So we can take these coefficients and just plug them in where they are, along with the A0, to give us our general solutions. Okay, guys. Uh, so once again, guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats. Uh, and I hope that this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with recurrence relations, but in particular looking at degree one recurrences, I hope that this was helpful. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.